First and foremost, I would like to give all honor, praises, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true black beside the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the final fire of the true fire, the one west. This is Fallen Kings, going back at you yet with another lesson. Um, before I go forward, then this lesson, lesson attended to the 12 tribes of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called blacks, the so called Native American Indians, and the so called Latino descent. You represent the 12 tribes of Israel, lost but not found, according to biblical records and biblical prophecy. And also our brothers and sisters that scattered abroad the various islands the, and land um, that look like the other nations, the Israelites, um, foreigners that scattered abroad to you also say Shalom and peace and blessings and um, much love to you, Shalom. Um, I am going to call this lesson... Uh, touch not my anointed. Um, and this is referring to the world um, we live in, which is ruled by the wicked. You know, um, when you read um, the book of Medica, it tells you that um, this is the border of wickedness, you know. Um, and it's ruled primarily under Esau Edom, which is the so called white man. But under that, you have the wicked. Um, two thirds, as well as the wicked uh, of the other nations, is falling under that vibration of the wicked, you know. Um, and these wicked people, wicked spirits, rather, they understand our judgment. You know, when you when when you scoff at the prophets, when you disrespect the men of the Lord, or you come against the men of the Lord, whether they teach in the Word, whatever they because. Because each one of us has different blessings and gifts in the body, you know. Um, you know, um, when you come across one, you re you pretty much come across the whole body, you know. Because each person, each each brother or sister, rather, you know, um, you know, we have different gifts within the body, you know. And in this society. They don't fear the most high. The world do not fear the most high, you know. And that's and it's going to be to their own demise, you know. I want to start off in the book of Psalms. Uh, and I'm going to precept it up uh, with another verse here. I'm going to start off in the book of Psalms, the 115th chapter, verse 15. And it reads, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And the reason why this society mainly ruled on Esau Edom under the rulership of the of the uh, of the uh, of Satan, because this rulership is ruled by the left hand side, they don't understand judgment. The scripture tells you about that. That the, the evil men understand our judgment. I'm gonna get that in a second. They don't realize when they come against the men of the Lord, or they put their hands on the men of the Lord, that there's a judgment for that. Or 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 they even speak against the men of the Lord as a judgment on that, you know, because they don't understand that there's there's going to be an eternal price for coming up against the men of the Lord and coming up against this gospel. Let's get the book of Proverbs chapter twenty eight verse five. It says, "Evil men understand not judgment, so the wicked they don't understand the judgment of the Most High," you know. Uh, when you harm or try to harm the prophets or come against the brothers or, or, or anyone in this troop, brothers or sisters, and anyone in this troop, you don't realize that there is a punishment for that. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understands all things. We understand all things because why? We seek the most high and we have we were, we are blessed with the wisdom, knowledge and understanding and um, hope and pray that we endure to the end, you know, but this society they don't understand that the, the the serious consequences of touching um, the elect or coming against the elect, you know. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 15. Lay not in wait, wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous, for not his resting place. So the uh, the king of kings is telling us. Because the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. This was prophesied many, many, many years ago. You know, that the Lord knew in the last days that 
people going to be trying to come up against the elect. You know, um, that it's going to be a consequence for touching that, for touching the elect, for touching the gospel, trying to come up against the gospel rather. You know, and that's what I mean. Like they try to come up against the gospel by through scarfing, through um, just doing all matter evil towards the men of the Lord. And it's going to be a punishment for that. It says, lay not and wait, O wicked men, against the dwelling of the righteous. Spoil not his resting place. So the Most High is telling the wicked, spoil not his wicked, or his resting place. For a just man falleth seven times and rises back up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief, you know? Um, because, you know, Esau, Edom, which is the wicked, and along with the two-thirds and the other nations as well, uh, the people who don't hearken and, um, you know, hearken unto the men of the Lord, you know, they're going to, you know, they're going to uh, experience a heavy judgment, you know. And, you know, um, let's get let's get another precept real quick. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom. This is Psalm chapter 37, verse 30. And his tongue talketh of judgment. And that's why I made this video and this lesson is because um, I'm speaking of judgment against those people that come across the men of the, that they, they, they come against the men of the Lord. You know, you are going to receive a heavy, 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 hefty judgment from the Most High um, and the Holy, His Holy Prayer Son and the Holy Angels. And I want to close it out with this. I want to give it all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also true, like the King of Kings. Roar to himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final father of the truth, out of one west, Shalom Israel. Peace and blessings, Shalom. Shalom Israel. And the hopeful elect, Shalom.